Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So I'm unfortunately, I was on vacation and I started chapter 5 a little bit late. So I do apologize for the late video. I will have a video up of the another dungeon very hard for this tomorrow after I finish chapter 6. So anyways, in this chapter, you can see that the teasing that carried on from the end of chapter 4 continues in the beginning of chapter 5, which the um, Grimoire really enjoys. And now we see that little Miyu has a secret pet as a friend. And of course, her two bodyguards do not approve of those. If it were me, I would like to keep a blue funny mushroom as a baby as a pet as well. But of course, once it grows up, it'll probably try to eat her alive. So being that the two bodyguards are erring on the side of caution, they want her to return it back to the forest. And of course, that's going to start a totally uh, different adventure for the three of them. So you can see um, Felmina has actually taken to more of a mothership um, role in this relationship and Bertrand's almost like a second father to Miu as well. I really enjoyed the connection um, that's building between the two characters and little Miu over the last few chapters. And I'm looking forward to chapter 6 as well. I'm sure many of you have already finished all chapters. Anyways, similar to the last video, I will be um, focusing on gathering the materials um, that are needed in this chapter, the rare ones. I will also show you where the yellow mushroom is as well. There are two uninspiring axes here as well, so make sure you grab those. Okay, so it looks like the th three of them are going into the forest now. Lil Miu just finds it so funny. Okay, so um, the big Miu, which is in our party of course, and Aldo are going to tag along and see what kind of adventures happen. If you look at the animation between the big and the small Miu, they actually laugh the same way too, which is um, quite good on the developers to do. Okay, so if you've noticed, um, it is twilight or nighttime at the forest, but the glows of the mushrooms are keeping it bright enough for us to explore. You also notice that even though the map is very similar um, in outlay to the previous four chapters, we are actually starting at the very top of the map as opposed to the bottom. What I mean by that is, um, if you explore through this chapter completely, normally you would start at the area where you can warp back to the Grimoire. But in this case, you start at the top of the map and you have to work your way down if you want to warp out. I just found it easier to use the map button in your menu and warp out if you needed to. All right, so we are starting our quest now. Okay, so you can see the very top. I've explored all the way to the bottom left and we're gonna go down here. And if you explore this area thoroughly, you will find a blue mushroom, which you'll tap on. So again, this is a large mushroom that blocks the path um, to another area. This is the newest mushroom in Chapter 5, and this is weak to water. And all the mobs, of course, are level 50 as well. So there's the hidden mushroom, the yellow one. Make sure you tap on it so you get the map piece, just like the other four chapters as well. Okay, so we're gonna go back up to the left and it go explore that way.
Okay, and if you explore, uh, enter that, you can see the glowing orb. So this is the one of two uninspiring axes that you'll need to grab from this chapter. And you can see the second one right there on the bottom left of this particular section of the map. Again, I tried to shorten the video, so I hope you're able to follow along um, the different map areas. Okay, so we're going to continue exploring some of the areas we haven't yet. Okay. And you can see I'm not going to the exit yet. I just want to kind of show uh, you the entire map opened up for you. And so on the bottom right, you see one of the wells that you can throw a bunch of uninspiring axes in once you've gathered enough. So here we are going up to the um, hidden map area. This is again very similar to the first four chapters. So you can see that in chapter four I had explored and unlocked the entire right side, those upper areas. Now we're going to go to the upper left areas. And there are two horrors here. They are both identical. The level 65 um, mushrooms that are vulnerable to fire. You can see that I double checked just in case and all those chests are empty. So if you did collect them in earlier chapters, you will not be able to grab them again. Okay, so we're going to head towards the areas where we were had not explored yet. Okay, so we grabbed some Guiding Light Lance for your uh, Suzette or AS Suzette. Okay, and I'm going to beat up this uh, horror. So I've packed Seti and Garyu here. It is vulnerable to fire um, and is resistant to earth. So I'm just going to switch um, Serene out, and we're just going to use Mew's Blaze Sword as well as um, Seti's attacks and Garyu's attacks. Again, monsters are very easy, just a little bit annoying with a sleep attack. So I'll just end it right here with a simple AF. Make sure you kill all the horrors. Again, you will need all the materials. Um, when you are upgrading Mew's personal weapon. So save yourself a couple of trips and take them down as soon as you can. Okay, so a free chant script, that's great. So we're going to go back to the main map and we're gonna go ahead to the left and you can see I've unlocked the entire area here. So the rest of the sections don't hold anything um, significant. You can explore them and like I said, if you go all the way to the bottom, you'll see the beginning of the um, area where you can warp back out to the Grimoire if you choose not to. So today's um, Bog Bibliovore is a group of three of those blue mushrooms. And the mobs were vulnerable to water, but you can see that um, the big ones are not. So again, like similar bosses and mobs in this area, the boss here is weak to fire. So again, Seti, Xion, Garyu, nice and easy. In this case, I'm just going to use a bunch of AoEs, more than adequate to take them down. Each of the different um, mushrooms do have a server of a different purpose. And when you kill one, it does a little bit of splash damage. Nothing significant, but you know, might as well mention it. Okay, so that ends the boss fight. Now, Lil Miu is going to bring the little mushroom boy, I guess, back to its parents or its relatives, I guess. And you can see everyone's a little bit apprehensive, worrying that they're going to get attacked. But you can see everyone's dancing for joy. The mushrooms are very happy to see its little baby again. 
And then we see a big rush of mushrooms. This is one of my favorite scenes from Chapter 5 actually, where they just run around and dance around you. Kind of like a little psychedelic trip. And I think I enjoyed the blue mushroom color more than the purple or red. I'm not sure how you guys feel about it. You can feel free to leave a comment below um, if you'd like to discuss uh, the mushroom's colors. And of course Lil Miu is finding this all very hilarious. And the other two are speechless and have no idea what just happened. So again, a little bit more insight into the relationship between Lil Miu and her bodyguards. You can see that um, this particular memory was very near and dear to adult Miu's heart. And so, we have defeated the fifth Bibliovore. And the Grimoire has warped us out. Only one chapter left! Again, um, hopefully you're enjoying these videos that I put out for you. If you do, please like and subscribe to my channel. I also do have a Patreon account if you'd like to support me in that way. But the main thing is I really do hope that, um, that the videos I put out are helping all of you out there. Feel free to leave comments below if you'd like to, uh, to leave any suggestions on how I can uh, put out things differently. Alright, so that wraps up the fifth quest. And again, similar to the last four, we will see a preview into chapter six. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.